remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? In the biggest college admission scandal in U.S. history, actress Felicity Huffman has been sentenced. Y'all get ready for this. Y'all get ready for this one. This is a big one right here. I cannot believe that the judge, a federal judge, gave this woman this kind of time. This don't make no sense. They gave her a whopping 14 days in prison. Now, there's some misunderstandings out there. Some people saying it's jail. No, it's prison. It was federal case. She was sentenced to 14 days in prison. We'll come back to that later. Prosecutors were seeking one month. So it looks like they split the difference on her time. Some of you may know Felicity from Desperate Housewives. She got caught up in this whole scandal because she spent $15,000 to have someone change the answers on her oldest daughter Sophia's SAT exam. In court on Friday, Felicity apologized for her role in the scandal saying, I take full responsibility for my actions and making amends with my crime. I will deserve whatever punishment you give me. Now, Felicity is the least culpable in these wealthy people who got caught up in the scandal. She only spent 15 racks. Some of the defendants, like actress Laurie Loughlin, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars and did a whole lot more. Still, 14 days for your part in the biggest college admissions scandal in U.S. history. Some people take exception to that. You see, Tanya McDowell was a black Connecticut mother who was charged with felony larceny after she lied on an application about her six-year-old son address so that she can get him into a better school district. They gave this woman 12 years in prison just for lying on the application. 12 years, she served five. So this happened back in 2011. They gave her 12 years, she did five. And this woman is involved in the biggest scandal, college admission scandal, in U.S. history. She's involved in bribing folks and photoshopping IDs and all kind of stuff. And she gets 14 days in prison. Only in America, man. Only in America. Now, actress Lori Loughlin she's going to get a different sentence. I still believe that they're going to slap her on the wrist, but she's going to get something. Now, she turned down a plea deal. The government don't like when you turn down plea deals and they got you to the right, or they got you to the left. They got you all the way to the left. You're all the way to the wrong. They don't like that. So what's going to happen here? is that if she don't strike a plea real soon, she's going to go to trial, she's going to be found guilty, and she's going to end up doing at least a year in prison. This I guarantee you, and there will be no appeal granted. Because anytime you try to go to trial, state or government, you know, you know, they're going, I mean, you know, local, local or state, they are going to try to hang you. They're going to try to tax you so that they can send a message out to anybody else who may think about using up their time and their resources to fight a case. This incident has invited healthy and heavy scrutiny on college admissions practices that stack the odds against countless applicants 
who have been denied deserved spots at schools of their choice. So understandably, black and brown students have been particularly outraged. Students of color have historically been accused of not earning their seat at the table because of race-based affirmative action policies. Their merits have been called into question, while as it turns out, the wealthy elite has been scheming the system the whole time. 14 days for your part in the biggest college admission scandal in U.S. history. I wonder how much she paid the judge. No more talk. What the talking about?